up week one, module one. Hopefully you're good and you're healthy and you're good to continue on to module two. So last week we worked on writer's voice and just getting some thoughts and emotions on paper. And then now I want you to kind of move forward to picking words and constructing sentences that really get your point across. Um, so here's your agenda for this week. Everything's going to be due next Sunday. Um, there's going to be two assignments. One's on a Google form. One is on a Google Doc. Um, we're focusing on what do you see around you, what's going on, and you're going to just pause for a second and kind of see what's going on. So syntax is how do you construct sentences, and diction is word choice. So we're just focusing on making very vivid sentences and choosing words that really show your reader what you see. So we're going to kind of mesh last week and this week. So specifically writing in your tone of voice by creating sentences with vivid language to show what you know. So a writer makes moves that places a reader in their shoes any chosen moment. Last week we wrote about thoughts and emotions. This week we're going to write about setting. Well, the first assignment is all about mentor sentences. So there's a Google form. Okay, so this is your first assignment. Just super quick, this is the mentor sentence practice Google form and you can get there from the slides and it's your first assignment. I will also post the link on Google Classroom. So what you're doing is you're reading these examples of good writing and finding elements of it to practice. So you can practice the same style with different words or the same tone, different topic. Or you can use like a punctuation strategy, so like a period or dialogue or a question. So of course, please start with your first and last name so I know it's you. And then there's one, two, three, four, five different choices. So I give you the sentence, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get your own. So Charlotte's Web, the first sentence of that book starts with, where's Papa going with that act? Said Fern to her mother, um, out to the hog house, some pigs were born last night. So in that one sentence, they use dialogue, questioning, and it builds the tone, which is ominous because going out to a hog house with a weapon probably means there's going to be one less pig. So you could use that um, as an example to try out, like, where are you going with those taquitos? Asked my mother to my sister, or something like that. And then the outsiders is just kind of putting your reader in a place. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. I like this one to open narratives because I use it uh, like when I stepped out of my classroom on the second week of quarantine, I had two things on my mind, uh, hand sanitizer and antibacterial wipes. And then there's three more we can try. The hate you give. This is the first line. Um, that's a good one. Classic Dahlstrom right there. And then the Hobbit example is describing something that might not seem really comforting, but it actually is. And then finally, where the wild things are, it sets the whole problem up. So just kind of think of your writing like your setting, and then kind of come back and pick two of these to practice. And your second assignment is a little bit easier. It's all about word choice. So you could take a picture of where you're at right now, literally your choice. You don't have to send it to me. Uh, don't send it to me. I want you to write about your current view in as much detail as possible. So you use specific words that really convey feeling. And then I want you to highlight those words that you chose that make your writing really interesting. So here's my example. So there's my photo. It's irrelevant because you're supposed to be able to see what I'm talking about in my writing. Um, but I use my highlighter tool and I highlight words that I purposely chose that were way more interesting to make my writing really stand out. So you could have just said fog covers the summit, but I chose dense fog so that it's super, um, it's way more vivid. It's dense, scorching heat of summer instead of just it was hot. So stuff like that. We've kind of done this a couple times with lists in the classroom, but this time I'm going to need you to just try your best. Um, some ideas you could write about, anything like that, I want you to think about the image, 
and I want you to write about it in detail. Okay, so sorry. Google Docs or write it, take a picture, um, write it on notes, write it on paper. However you were doing it, make it work. Um, and then the quarantine playlist, um, if you're interested, I compiled all at least one song from everybody and it's on Apple Music. Sorry, I don't have Spotify. And um, there are some good songs on there. So thank you for sharing. Really took me out of my head. So good luck. Contact me if you need help. And stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.